With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A small coin of mass 80 gram is placed on a horizontal surface of a rotating disc. The disc start from rest and it is uh, moving with constant acceleration 2 radian per second. The coefficient of static friction between the coin and the disc is given. And the kinetic friction coefficient is this. Radius is 1 meter from the center. Magnitude of the resultant force on the coin exerted by the disc just before it starts slipping. So just before it starts slipping. Then limiting friction will act on the coin. And if you see this is the coin. On this coin in vertical direction normal reaction and in downward direction the weight is acting. So I will write down this. Now if you see the limiting friction that could act here this. So if you see the mu is given m is also given right you can just put the value so it is 3, 3 by 4 into mass is 80 gram into g. Right? This will be the force 800 divided by 1000 it will be 8 by 10 8 by 10 so it will be 4 by 5. So it is 3 by 5 the limiting friction. So when it will just start just before the at the verge of slipping then the coin will experience limiting friction right in this plane of the disc right it can be like this in this plane of the disc so this will be the now if you see the normal reaction will be acting in upward direction normal reaction is equals to mg you could see it is 4 by 5 we already calculated so now you can just solve it. I will write down the net reaction force under root of n square plus f square. So it will be under root of 4 by 5 square is and uh, 3 by 5 square is 9. If you see we are already calculated this equals to under root 25 by 25 that is 1 newton and this is the answer of this question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today